is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we are back yet again with another fantasy booking style video for you guys SummerSlam 2021 fantasy booking coming at you guys if you guys did not know the reason that i have not posted the last three days is because i actually tested positive for covid19 and i'm not, not gonna lie to you brad it had me out of commission i did not i couldn't upload i couldn't film anything i didn't have any strength whatsoever i had terrible headaches i felt horrific it was it was not good, man. It definitely was not good. I'm not completely over the hill yet, but I'm definitely feeling a whole lot better than I did the last few days. So I am back here today, man. So excited to be back. And I'm and I'm hoping you guys did miss me while I was gone. I don't think I've ever went that long without uploading a video since the beginning of my channel. Since like it's been like four years or something like that since I've went three full days without uploading or something like that. So you guys know if I'm not uploading something, something's definitely not right over here. But anyways, guys, we are back at it again, man. Summer Slam 2021. Pretty loaded card over here. I'm pretty excited to get into it. You guys know how the fantasy style booking videos work. Basically, Vince McMahon is handing me the keys to the kingdom and he's saying, yo, Trey, you get to book this show. You Whatever you say goes, you get to book the matches. You get to tell me the outcomes and whatever you say goes for this show and moving forward a little bit into the future. So if I have a little bit of long-term booking, that can come into play. But I think Summer Slam's looking pretty good. I'm excited for it. Let's dive into this card, man, and let's break down how I would personally fantasy book this show if I was the head of creative if it's man came up to me and said yo bro whatever you say goes this is how I would book it all right so just getting this out there the Alexa Bliss versus Eva Marie match I would just have Alexa Bliss win you know not, not, nothing too too miraculous going on there just have Alexa Bliss go over didn't want to spend a ton of time on that didn't want to spend a ton of time on that one so there is that but let's get into the first matchup guys the first matchup that we have is Drew McIntyre and Jinder Mahal actually a few that uh you know I kind of wanted to see this because I didn't want Drew McIntyre tired to be in the main event scene, but it seems like he's literally just going to bounce right off of this and get back in the main event, because I don't see how you could really extend this any longer, because Jinder Mahal's goons are banned from ringside, but you know what, man? I think I'm, I'm just going to give I'm going to give the win to Jinder. I'm going to have Jinder Mahal get the win over Drew McIntyre. I know he hasn't done much of anything since, you know, after he lost the WWE Championship, he won the US title for a little bit, didn't he? And then he just kind of didn't do much of anything for a while. So I don't know, man. Screw it. I'm going to I'm going to give Jinder the win, prop him up a little bit there. Every time he gets injured, he comes back. He gets injured like every single time. So you know what? Don't hinder the Jinder. I'm going to give him the win over Drew McIntyre. Don't ask me why, honestly. I, I don't know. Just want to kind of see something fresh. Next up, guys, we do have the United States Championship match. Sheamus versus Damian Priest. Honestly, think I'm just going to give this one to Damian Priest. While I don't really like him as a babyface, I still think that it would be a nice little interesting twist there. I think everybody is a fan of Damian Priest. I think in the ring, I like him as a character and stuff, though. Not the biggest fan of him but, and Sheamus has been doing some pretty good work, but I just feel like, you know, this is a good little toss of the bone there. This will build up Damian Priest for the future. Go ahead, give him the U.S. Championship. I would have Sheamus drop the title to Damian Priest. See what he's got over there. Next up, guys, we have our tag team matchups. We have the Raw Tag Team Championship match. AJ Styles and Omos taking on RK Bro. And I gotta be real with you, I think I called this a while back. I think it was at the last, uh, the last fantasy booking. I said that we would be, you know, we're building to this inevitable match matchup right here between RK Bro and AJ Styles and Omos. And I think that RK Bro are going to win the tag titles. It just makes the most sense to me. Yeah, give them the championships. I know they've had their 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 stuff. I'm just ready for AJ Styles to be in something that's not. I want AJ Styles to be in the main event picture again, you know? I'm, I'm really tired of him being up in this tag team stuff. While he's done a good job of making Omos look good and everything, I feel like AJ Styles needs to go and do his own thing, right? So I'd have RK Bro take the tag titles. Maybe you could have your singles feud with Omos and AJ Styles. Have AJ Styles put Omos over, but then let AJ Styles do AJ Styles stuff. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I would have the uh, I'd have RK Bro win the Raw Tag Titles, and I think that would be a good move. And on the flip side, ladies and gentlemen, we have Dominic and Rey Mysterio going after the SmackDown Tag Team Championships all, uh, from the Usos. They did lose these. Didn't they lose these at the last pay-per-view? I'm pretty sure. I don't think it should change here. You know, we don't need to be playing title flip-flop, Brad. I would have the Usos retain here. We don't need any 
craziness. We don't need any any weird stuff going on, man. Usos should retain the championships there. While it should be a really good matchup, I think the Usos should retain. All right, guys, getting into our big ones here. We have the SmackDown Women's Championship matchup, Bianca Belair and Sasha Banks. And honestly, I think Sasha is going to get back her championship right here, man. I honestly feel that is where I would go with this. I don't think it would make a lot of sense just for her to come back in this moment and then just lose it or lose this opportunity or not take advantage of this opportunity. So yeah, I'd have Sasha defeat Bianca Belair. Next up, guys, we have probably the matchup that I'm most looking forward to on the card, Edge and Seth Rollins. This is a fantasy matchup. This is a dream matchup for a ton of people. And just the fact that we're talking about this is absolutely insane, to be real with you. But Seth Rollins and Edge, I think the only, only way you can really do this, man, is to have Seth Rollins defeat Edge. I mean, it could go either any way, you know, either way it goes, I'll be, uh, I'll be probably okay with it. I, you know, I don't think I'll have any issues with it, but Seth Rollins defeating Edge right here is the way to go. Kind of a passing of the torch moment here, and let Seth Rollins get this big win over Edge in what should be match of the night, probably, right? I mean, I think this is probably gonna be match of the night, but what a loaded card, bro. This, this is insane. I can't even believe this match is happening, but I would have Seth Rollins defeat Edge, and that is where I would go with that one. I need to see some gold. See, that will set Seth Rollins up for gold later because he really needs some gold. Next up, guys, we have Bobby Lashley taking on Goldberg in a matchup that, you know, everybody's just just clapping, just, just raving to see this one. I don't know about everybody else, but I definitely wanted to see Brock Lesnar versus Bobby Lashley instead of Goldberg versus Bobby Lashley. But hopefully Bobby Lashley just makes this man, you know, just, just, just puts a hurting on this guy. Hopefully Bobby Lashley will come in here, throw this man all over the damn ring and retain the WWE Championship. We do not need Goldberg to be WWE Champion right here. Do us a favor, Bobby, and put Goldberg down. That's all we want, right? That's all we want. Bobby Lashley to retain the championship. That is what I would have. I mean, honestly, if I were having it my way, I would just scrap Goldberg and bring in Brock Lesnar if I could truly do whatever I wanted, but since this is the card we're given, Bobby Lashley over Goldberg, there you go. Alright, we have two matchups left. I know it looks like we have one matchup left, but we also have the Raw Women's Championship match over here. So you got Nikki Ash, which is just a, oh man, that gimmick. Woo. Defending in a triple threat versus Charlotte Flair and Rhea Ripley. I would have Nikki retain the championship over Charlotte and Rhea. You know, I know she won it from Charlotte, and then you had the stuff with Rhea and tying all in the stuff, but that doesn't even matter, Brad, because at the end of the night, we're going to have the man return, all right? Becky Lynch will return at SummerSlam, and she will hoist the championship up, and she will go after Nikki, and she will eventually capture the Raw Women's Championship and then take over the division and make women's wrestling worth a damn again on Monday Night Raw. All right, that's how I would book that. Becky Lynch returns, gets the Raw Women's Championship, but she'll just return here. Nikki Ash will retain in the triple threat, and then Becky will enter and come in and get the point. And then for our main event, ladies and gentlemen, we have Roman Reigns defending against John Cena. And this is honestly a very tough one to book because, I mean, if nobody, if somebody's gonna beat Roman Reigns, the only person that it could be would be John Cena, but John Cena put him over at no mercy those years years ago when they had this the last time they had their feud and I feel like if anything John Cena needs to put him over yet again here so I would have Roman Reigns to retain as cool as it would be to see John Cena capture his you know the record-breaking championship I don't think this is the right stage I don't think this is the right moment right here it hadn't been built right and I think this is just another great stepping stone for Roman Reigns to solidify you know this amazing championship run that he's on so I would have Roman Reigns to retain the Universal Championship over John Cena and yeah, that would be the uh, that would be it, Brad. Pretty stacked card though, man. Absolutely stacked card. And since this is like a big four pay per view, you know, this is kind of where things culminate. You know, it's not like you can really book a crazy return. Besides Becky Lynch's, Becky Lynch's is one that you can put in there. But the rest of them, you know, it's kind of difficult to kind of write in a return or some craziness or I don't know. While keeping it somewhat logical without getting you know way outside the realm of possibilities. But that pretty much does it for my fantasy booking video of SummerSlam 2021 guys let me know what you think down in the comment section below let me know your let me know some cool fantasy booking ideas down in the comment section below and i know the aew rampage i'll probably uh, do a video on that on tomorrow you know with all the speculation and everything like that i may do a reaction video or i, I don't know we'll do something for rampage or or something we'll definitely do something for that but thank you guys so very much for watching i hope you guys did enjoy the fantasy booking video very glad to be back making videos again so definitely stay tuned guys turn on your bell be sure to uh uh, 
check out all the videos on the channel. Love you guys. Appreciate it. Don't cross the line like COVID-19. You cross